now we'll come on to the arterial supply. And this is something that always confused me a little bit when I was a med student. And then I did a BSc in anatomy and realised that actually it's fairly simple and it's quite straightforward once you, you know the basic principle. So the abdominal aorta is a continuation of the aorta which comes from the thoracic. So here would be the heart. It gives off the aorta and the arch of the aorta that I talked about last week. And the uh, descending thoracic aorta carries on as the, as the ab abdominal aorta beyond the diaphragm. And this just shows the surface anatomy um, of where it would be in an actual patient. So the branches of the abdominal aorta are usually presented in a textbook looking something like this, and looking a bit scary and confusing, really. But they can be simplified. So if you think of the gastrointestinal tract as being kind of the base of the abdominal blood supply, there are three areas. So the foregut, and this is supplied by the celiac trunk. The midgut, this is supplied by an artery called the superior mesenteric. And the hindgut, which is supplied by the inferior mesenteric artery. And these three arteries are the three main arteries that you need to know about. Um, and if you can remember that they supply the foregut, midgut, hindgut, that's quite a good base to be going on with. In terms of the ov overall branches, we mentioned the first three. So the celiac trunk, which comes off at about T12, T12, one the superior mesenteric artery, which comes off at L1, and the IMA, which comes off at L3. There are some other branches to know about as well. So the inferior phrenic artery, um, which is essentially what supplies the diaphragm and is the first branch, actually, of the abdominal aorta. The renal and adrenal arteries, um, which, as the name suggests, supply the uh, renal and renal glands. The gonadal artery, and the lumbar arteries. So these are in total the branches of the abdominal aorta and the three key ones are the celiac, the SMA and the IMA.